be sure to go to flipsidegaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. It's a good deal to help support the show. I can speak words, because words is what I speak. <coughs> I'm dying. Oh, <coughs> I breathed in. <coughs> kill me. Just kill me. I refuse to start over. Um, Today's video, I'm going to hide my ugly face for a second. That's the wrong thing, dumbass. Uh, I'm going to hide my ugly face for a second. This one is very interesting. I'm a little upset that they didn't make a blue one, but at the same time, I don't care. Uh, this this is the first workshop that I think is like just hilarious and cool. This one, they have pre-made decks where the number restriction is removed. So, you know, we have 15 charm strays. I don't care about these cards as much, but you know, like six charming princes, like it's awesome. <laughs> it's very cool. It's very interesting. Um, and they play into the whole theme of having a bunch of creatures, right? Like, or a bunch of the same card. So you'll have a bunch of undead servants and you can, you know, when they die, or sorry, when they enter, you get a bunch of little zombie tokens that'll get bigger with Death Baron. Crypt Baker lets you draw some cards from your untapped creatures. It also lets you put undead servants from your hand in your graveyard, even though that's probably not the best. Uh, you have a couple blood for bones to like sack this to get more of these. So, you know, that's that's pretty awesome. And then with the Gabos, uh, this was the one I'm actually most afraid about. <laughs> um because yeah some skirt prospects are sure this one you know it's whatever uh but then if you have two of these uh or excuse me if you have three of these then both of these only cost a single red uh and this this allows you to get a lot of goblins really fast uh this one this one just scares me and then of course we have just elves it, it, it's just it's just elf ball the elfiest of balls um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna play this, we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun, because these things are cool. And as usual, I'm gonna play, um, with each of these decks. What I'll probably end up doing is I'll get one good game in, you know, it, if for some reason I have to, like, mulligan into Oblivion, I'll just concede and, and start over. But I'm gonna try and get one game in with each, with each deck, um, if I'm not at, um, the, the, like, 30 minute minimum that I that I try to do. See, this is not the best hand. It's actually a pretty bad one. I'd actually rather mulligan here. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. Um, if I'm not at that 30 minute threshold, then I'll probably just be playing the zombie one a lot because I like zombies. Zombie, zombie. So my opponent is playing the elf deck. You can tell because of the sleeves. I'm surprised that we don't have any elf themed sleeves right now. We got cats. We have gabos. We have as we have multiple zombie sleeves technically. I didn't even see what the zombie sleeves one was. Um, don't uh, don't really know what my opponent's doing here. Cool, got now. Makes sense. I'm going to go and play a Charm Strike. Uh, next turn, we're going to play two tr Charm Strikes. So I have a couple of questions from the Discord that I have not answered in a little bit, because I am a Scrub Lord. Um, I think the last one, I think that one. I don't know if I answered John's question about if I had a customer's vo a customer voice or not. Um, Technically, no. I just, I, I use different words. I use different phrases. Um, and I do think that I speak a little bit more measured when I'm speaking with customers. And obviously I don't really speak with customers anymore because I'm not in retail. Um, but you know, it, it, I would, I would just essentially just be like, I would be speaking a little bit more evenly, trying not to, you know, speak super quickly because I know that is something that a lot of people had issues with. Next turn, do this. Yeah, so these are kind of garbage early on. This can be. So they're they don't have the car. Oh, they do have card draw. They have elders visionaries. So yeah, I'm a little afraid of that. But yeah, so that's that's that. Um, Alex too asked L body, and then three people reacted with an L. I don't know what that is referencing. 
Oh, cool, I won. I, I don't know what that's referencing. At all. L body. The L is capitalized, if that matters, but... Literally no clue. Not, not an idea. Uh, and then Macfar uh, asks, would you play Del Dead Cells or Kenshi? Uh, so I did look those games up. I knew about Dead Cells because I watched Northern Lion. I would absolutely play, De play Dead Cells. I would absolutely play Dead Cells. This deck has 25 wins. This is this is not a good hand. This is much better. Uh, I'll drop a Blood for Bonds, I think. Yeah. Will I? Yeah. Guess there's Splatter, which is nice. They're playing Cats. So they're gonna go tall. Uh, we're, we're we're gonna try and go wide aff. Not great, to be honest. Um, yeah. So I would I would definitely play Dead Cells. Um, it's not something I'm looking to buy right now, just because I have a bunch of roguelites already. So, uh oh. Do I eat the three now? Yeah, I think I eat the three now because these are gonna get bigger. And I'm a little away from playing anything else. We bounce the one-one charm stray. Luckily, they don't uh, they don't come back until end step, which is nice. Do I take five here? Once again, I think I just take five because if I top deck a death baron, I didn't, which is unfortunate. But if I did. Then I would, at the very least, be able to um, kill one of these strays. Um, Mace is fine. Do I want to double block the Charming Prince or just chump a stray? I'll we'll take seven. Because right now I'm only getting one zombie here. Which is not good. Seven, I go to five. My opponent only has one card left in hand. Um, the issue, the main issue I have is that my opponent does have the things that can give their cats flying. So I'm pretty afraid of that. This way I take five, I go to seven. Nothing dies, but I think that's fine. Come on, hit a bunch of undead servants. Yep. Yup. Okay, that was, that was very good for us. Now we're getting, what, three? Hell yeah. Cool. Uh, and we pass the turn. Now we have some decent blocks. Obviously, cool. That is that's totally fine with me. Let's go blocks here. I can use Crypt Breaker to draw a card, but I don't think I want to. Uh, excuse me. Uh, for Ken as for Kenshi, nah, it doesn't look like a game I would enjoy. I pretty much always want my undead um, servant. I, I, I almost always want my. Yeah, Undead Serpent to die. So, past the blocks. We block that all day. Hmm. I think we block that all day. I'll go down to three. So yeah, I can't reasonably use Crypt Breaker anyway, but I wasn't really planning on it. I have four, ten total power. So yeah, I can't, I can only kill two of them anyway. Oops, I messed that up. Yeah, I want to take minimal damage. I, I don't see a reason to draw right now. It's just not safe. Do I have life gain in a second? I don't think I do. I mean, what, four, I think? Um, we still die to a top deck flying... Okay, 
that is not it. They should scry to. Like, they're... Did you not scry to? Oh, I guess for that? Uh, Sure, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, and then they can scry again. Yeah, that, that seems fine. Um... I die to the flying card regardless. I don't believe that deck can give trample, just flight. So me being at one is no different than me being at four at this point. Should I should wait till that enters. I'm not be a dumbass. To see what they choose. Dust okay, yeah, I don't. I don't get that. Death Baron is nice to see. Do I want to do it again? How much mana will I have next turn? Not enough, right? Three, four, five, six, no. Hmm. Try and kill my opponent quickly. I'm gonna have four total creatures. I'm fine with this dying. This, this, this. I'm fine with that dying if I have to. Oh, never mind. I can make a 2 2. Uh, does not come untapped. Yeah, so I think I just want to attack with two here. But yeah, I have to I have to put pressure on my opponent to make sure that they die. Okay, this comes back. You should scry. My opponent may not have inspected the I I just don't agree with it. I mean, if, if you were going to do that, I would honestly suggest like just con continually doing that. Uh, did you get the flying Yep, they got the flying. Shit. <sighs> yep. Yeah, I died to it regardless. I can't really do anything about it. Ah, man. Them's, them's all the breaks, though. Um, the, way, the way this is going, I'll probably be able to get another zombie game in. I'm going to play the other ones first, but... I just realized I didn't even look at the deck. The sleeves. Okay, they were literally on the sleeves. That's what I expected. Alright. We'll play the Gabos. Which are the ones I was most afraid of. And see if uh see if I can get some dumb stuff with it. Going up against one iteration of Nim Visit. This time the Draco Genius. Guess we got a prospector. I can get a war chief down in turn two. Turn three, I can get a ringleader. Just make sure that's right. I play a Skirk Prospector. Play this. I'll have three lands. I can play this. Yeah. Yeah. Going against cats. Should be fine. I could attack here, but I don't think it is worth doing. Yeah, I think I think honestly this game I need to get to um or he has haste as well. I need to get to um seize game commander as fast as possible. I assume he's gonna play double cat. Single cat Really? Well that is interesting. I don't care about this dying. 
so I'm gonna attack with that. Well, let's see. Next turn, a ringleader again, because I really want another war chief. So I can start getting these. Although it might be better. No, I think I do need another war chief or two. He's going to use the... Th uh, this is what I expected, and this is what I wanted. I wanted him to use that now, because it means I have a, a smaller chance of dying um, to it late in the game, like I did with that zombies, uh, zombies match. Mace on turn three. Totally fine to me. They chose not to attack with either. Interesting. Destroy target colorless. No. Uh, Crater Maker can kill, a kill this Charm Stray, though. Can't do all of this at once, though. If I Crater Maker, I can play two of the, the Prospectors, which is just mana for next turn, so I think that's probably fine. So let's play the Crater Maker, and we're not actually going to do anything with it. Just, well, I could have another Resser Zeal, which is the issue. So I think I am going to just blow it up. I guess I can attack first. I want to attack with this. Nah. My opponent is correct for doing that. Because they, they know there's essentially zero reason for me not to blow it up. Four mana. Charming Prince. Scry? Only has two cards. Yeah. Show me bottom, bottom. Yeah. It's better than tap, tap. Hmm. So is this going to be a bounce or a scry? Bounce. Makes sense. Flicker, not bounce. My apologies. No attacks. They might just do a little bit, bit of flickering. Um, no, just scry. That's reasonable. And get the mace um, up pretty high, which is actually super interesting. <laughs> okay, so we're going to play the ringleader here. Try and get another war chief. No, got a crater maker, which is nice. My opponent knows almost all of my cards. Hmm. I'll attack for two. See if my opponent wants to block for the prince. Nope, that's fair. Uh, we'll play the crater maker. If my opponent tries to do some froggy stuff with uh, mace, I will murder the charm stray. Obviously, if they have another um, zeal, then that could be an issue. This land, I assume, was in their hand, because I doubt they would have scribed that to the top. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a zeal here. Um, but my expectation is that my opponent kept either a, a prince or a stray. Well, I guess they could have bishop of rebirth. That would have also been something that uh, that's reasonable to assume that they got. Okay, very interesting. So this, this, this makes a lot more sense than, I think it was last, no, it wasn't last week's. It was the week before last week's. Or not last week. Whatever the fucking last time I did things. I don't know. Uh, this is helpful. We're gonna, we're gonna play another ringleader. 
Nothing. Excuse me? Um, da, da, da. We're going to attack with these ringleaders. And then if there are any surviving, uh, I can sacrifice it to get another ringleader. Cool, thanks. <laughs> Cast this ringleader. I'd like to sacrifice this, please. Give me a war chief. There we go. Cool. Uh, I'm not going to play this. I'll play it next turn. Yeah. Point uh, is on one. They're going to be able to gain a lot of life back. Thanks to this charm stray. Um, alternatively, I could block with the ringleader. Target Prince. Interesting. I could block, block with ringleader and just sacrifice the, the ringleader. And I think I'll probably end up doing that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That seems the best. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Come at me. Come on. Do it, coward. Although they're going to be on defense. Like, it's, it's, it's vigilance as well. Uh, you know what? I'll just not block. It's fine. War chief. War chief. Not bad. This comes with three. Two, four, six. Yeah, I think the next turn I'm just going to try and pop off. Yeah, and I think I'm going to block and sack this time. It's an army of goblins versus a couple cats. One of... <laughs> I'm just imagining this cat just, like, pick this mace up in its mouth. It's like... Eh. Okay. Another chump strike? Don't even care. Interesting. Uh, block, because I would like you to die. Uh, and block, which I will sacrifice. Excuse me, what? Note to everyone out there, I guess you have to be in full control to use this thing's ability during combat. Even though it's a man ability, who knew? Well, that pissed, that that's annoying. Uh, we're gonna get some siege gangs, some Gucci gangs, uh, some more Gucci gangs. on the bottom, right? I'm gonna run out of goblins. There's some more goblins. Point which I can actually just like overrun my opponent. It's possible. Just if I keep getting these. Got 26 cards left. How many of these are real? Not very many. 
Um, man, I don't want to do this math. I like super don't want to have to do this math. I want one. I have two, fucking two left. <laughs> um. Oh, I don't. I don't have any more ringleaders. Everything else is <laughs> mountain. I have to. I have to win with what is in my hand and on my field. Um. Okay. That's uh, one, two, three. That is fourteen. That's uh, f forty uh, nine. That's forty nine. I have. Uh, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay, I do not have enough right now. I should next turn. Okay, um, pass. I have to, fuck it, shit, I have to discard cards. Uh, we'll get rid of the prospectors, I guess, because they're, uh, 1-1s. One All right, I have to be in full control, apparently, in order to block and use mana. Doesn't make any sense. Pass the blockers. Block with this. Block. Okay, before damage, which I think it, the only reason I don't have to is because of this, uh, I'm going to sack this. Do I want to use this? I think I do. Target you. Okay, so the game no life there. Nice. Oh, baby. And we're gonna convert all of these tokens into um into creatures, I think. Oh, chief. Bigger maker. Just because these are bigger. These actually aren't worth doing. They're the same. Um, let me just, once again, do some math. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20... Uh, 40. Um, I can sacrifice whatever is blocked by those, so this should be super duper lethal. I'm going to hold full control. And uh, we're going to smoke with an army of goblins. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice this. Thank you. Next damage, please. Got there. Goblets. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, that's pretty much what I expected to get from the goblins. <laughs> I didn't even. Cat's Cradle. Endless Ranks. That one's kind of lame. Gobsmacked. <laughs> Gobsmacked is, is the good one right there. Uh, and then Wild Mites. You know, it's whatever. All right. Can play with some elves. Uh, probably not going to be able to, to play some more zombies um, for the video, but whatever. Had a cool Gabos game. By the way, let me know what you all think of um, the way I do these event videos. I try and show all of the decks, but it's possible that some people might prefer I just choose the one I like most and play it. Um, let me know. Uh, this hand is g good. I, Elves Visionary is like, oh fudge. I'm going against goblins. I am afraid of this matchup. Um, oh, that top deck was awful. Okay, they had the same thing as I, I did. Uh, they're going to hit me. It's going to hurt. No blocks. Okay, that's fine. We're going to play Marwyn. Next turn, we can Elvish Visionary, Lenore Elf. Marwyn's going to be a little bit larger. I need Marwyn to survive. Okay. So Marwyn will survive because they don't have Crater Maker in hand. Well, they do now. 
the blocks. I'll take gold eight. That's whatever. Um, I'm going to draw first. Okay. Okay. I have a four four. My opponent shouldn't be able to kill Marwin here. I can't end race four runners next turn. No, I can. It's eight. Four. One. Yeah, I could. I can end race four runners. Okay, cool. Oh, hell yeah, baby. I mean, yeah, I just do this this turn and I do it again next turn. That vigilance. Elves! <laughs> That's what, uh... Tw <laughs> My opponent's at one. Um... I don't think that they can kill me from 14 here. I guess, I, guess, I mean... This what gives them indestructible? No, just visions and trample. Yeah, I mean, still. Um, they could... I don't... I don't think they can do anything. They didn't... Oh, they did get another war leader. So they could play the other war leader, but... Yeah, I think they're just gonna, they just have to go too low on board. Can sack the ringleader to play another ringleader. Unfortunately for you, my friend, this is the end. So that was dumb. And the funniest thing is, technically... I could have just done that in Historic. Because I only played three land rounds. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. What's that? Uh, two wins? Three wins? Who cares? Who knows who cares? That's good. Yeah, no, let me let me know uh, for sure if you would prefer... Uh, if I just, like, chose one of these to play. I, I, the cat's hidden. It's fine. Um, if you would prefer uh, for future, future events of these, if I just played one of these. Um, or do you actually like... The fact that I go through each of them and, and kind of show you the different uh, options. Can I finally afford this? I can. I don't think it's going to go away for a little bit. But I'm, I want to wait till after Ikoria. Because I want to make sure I can buy packs. But I'm buying Puppet Jace because it's just, it's just so good. Puppet Jace is like the perfect arena pet um, so far. Obviously, I really like my uh, champion. Once again, thank you, PB, PB, PBDDR. Jeez, words are hard. Um, that, that, that was the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I'd like to thank Zin for the continued support. Uh, if you'd like to join them and I, I said Zin specifically, my patrons. <laughs> oh goodness, it's been a long day. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just tap that like button. You know, if I, I'm not gonna do the cute thing. Uh, it, it means a lot when you um, when you press like. Uh, because it shows YouTube that uh, I'm a channel that people enjoy. Uh, it means a lot when you press subscribe because it shows uh, YouTube that um, people want to stick around for my content. Uh, and it, it it means a lot when you comment because that shows YouTube that people aren't just like kind of here. Like they're actually engaging with the content. Um, and when YouTube recognizes me more, Wizards can recognize me more. Um, and one of the things I want to be able to, to have for you all is like that that premium spoiler right like the people who would watch the channel would see that before anyone else which would be awesome um but yeah um all, all of that stuff means a lot to me uh and i appreciate everyone who does it right now <laughs> i mean i legit have people um who who are just actually saying it's like engagement because they might not necessarily have something uh directly related 
to the video, and also at this point it's become a bit of a meme. Um, but you know, everything, everything helps. Um, anyway, I've, I've been gushing a little bit too much. Uh, until next time, though, all will be one.